keep in mind, keep in mind, I didn't ask you this question, but I'm sure if I did, I would have gotten a robust response as well. Imagine if Chaim was alive 100, 150 years ago in a small town in Europe. Imagine if the same child is, is, is transported in time and place to even a larger city in Europe, you know, 150 years ago. Think about what options we would have for such a child. I mean, it's, it's a bigger conversation when we talk about universal Jewish education today. We sort of take for granted the fact that children are being educated really from the age of two, maybe three at the latest nowadays, pretty much, all the way till 22, if not 42. Right? We're in it through elementary school and high school and what we call base matters, college, seminary, etc., and some beyond. So what we're doing is beautiful and engages so many more people than ever before, but we also are sort of forcing people who perhaps historically would not any longer even be in the system through a system. And we're forcing them through a system that may not be equipped to give them what they need in order to make that an engaging experience for all of them. So whereas maybe 150 years ago, that child by the age of nine would have learned basic reading skills, hopefully, maybe would have mastered the ability to read Tehillim and some Chumash, and maybe even touched Mishnah and Gemara if it's a boy and a girl, perhaps a different curriculum, that's probably as far as it would have gone unless, A, they demonstrated real capacity, or B, they were very wealthy. In most cases, those were the two main ingredients that would determine who went beyond. <coughs> most others went to learn a profession at that point. They became an apprentice, and they moved on. Obviously, I'm overgeneralizing, but I think we understand that that was the trend. So we're sort of bucking the trend, we're bucking the system. The only thing close to it in Jewish history that I'm aware of is at the time of Yoshua ben Gamla, during Bayashini. And even then, it was certainly not what we have today. So the, the, the downside of anything like that is when you try to make everybody fit through this proverbial box is question, well, is the box really fitting for everybody? And therefore, is it appropriate for us to try to do exactly the same for everybody? Or do we need to reconceive what's in the best interest of individual students so that they can have a maximal experience?